Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach, and in this episode, if you want to call it as such, I want to talk about someone who I view as a successful person, and it's part of an ongoing series where I have taken a look at people we view as iconic, and rather than just kind of showcase their successes, which yes, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about a little bit, but I want to highlight a mistake that they've made and not to poke fun at them or so forth, but to learn most importantly. And part of that learning is understanding that we all make mistakes and that these mistakes don't define us in the long term in terms of our success. And that ultimately, if these successful people make mistakes, then it also shows that we, while, while we make mistakes, we can also overcome them and achieve a similar success or a success that we're hoping to, to, to gain, if, if you will, in life. And so the focus of this episode is Bob Iger, who's the CEO of Disney. Now, his journey is very, very interesting. Now, I won't get into Bob's backstory too much, but he started with ABC back in 1974 and really kind of rose the ranks. He was involved with their sports division for a long time. And then when the Disney company bought them out, they, they merged and so forth. And he was, he, he just really rose the ladder with, and this he chronicles in his, he doesn't call it a memoir, but it kind of really is that it's, it's called the ride of a lifetime, which recently came out. And it's a very fascinating book. If you are really into the entertainment industry. I highly, highly recommend reading this book. It, it just offers so much insight into various things like how the Disney Marvel merger came about and Pixar and all this other stuff. Like it, it's really a fascinating look. And in fact, the mistake that I'm going to pull from in terms of Bob Iger is when he was in charge of the television division. At the time, David Lynch was working on Twin Peaks and you know, when you, when you, David Lynch is known for wanting a lot of creative control. However, they, meaning Bob Iger and the ABC team, were kind of stifling at times, especially more towards the end, over some of the creative decisions. And it's kind of interesting to look back. And again, this is from Bob's own version of it. He really does regret having too much control over what David Lynch was doing because ultimately the the show fizzled out like it was a very acclaimed show it fans truly loved it it was certainly one of its kind and still beloved to this day still revisited by a lot of people and who knows how long it could have gone on for if david lynch was allowed to do what he actually wanted to do and it's something that we'll never know sure it's only speculation and, you know, is it the world's greatest mistake ever? No, not necessarily. But for the people that did love Twin Peaks, it certainly hampered their enjoyment of it because of the, the grip that Bob Iger and his team put on it. So it just kind of, you know, it just goes to show that sometimes we, we all have regrets over certain things. But as I said, they don't come to define us. And what I appreciate about Bob Iger in this instance is that he's able to admit that. I think that's the other thing we can learn from this is that rather than, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, and rather than be adamant that that was the right decision, you know, he admits he doesn't know. And that's going to help shape certain decisions moving forward. He's going to consider them in a new light. So our failures can teach us certain things and allow us to be successful moving forward. And certainly Bob Iger is one of those people that has taken whatever failures he's had and allowed himself to be very successful. One of the things I'm curious, what do you get out of this anecdote? You know, what do you, what do you take away? What are the, some of the lessons? And uh, please let me know down in the comments section and so forth. And also let me know what other icons of success you would like me to dissect in future episodes. I love to take your suggestions and deep dive because I'm also learning as much as you are. You know, when, I, when I'm researching these people, I get to learn a lot about them and it's been fun for me. So thank you for tuning in and I hope to see you next time. Bye.